family tonight to help us start our adulting, our relaxing, our doing something nice for ourselves. We have Dewey here from Rogue because Rogue is holding their first ever cocktail contest to, uh, to celebrate the Rogue Spruce Gin. So of course, we have the gin right here, but what kind of cocktail are we going to make with it? Well, I've got two cocktails. I've just made one for you. Beautiful. That is our Forest and Farm. That's one of our most popular in our pubs. So if you go to our pubs, you're always going to find that on the menu. So I okay. recommend giving that a try. Yeah. And then maybe make a bee's knees and do a little something different with it if you'd like. So okay, you're, sure. You're ready, can yeah, let's get started. Okay. And then we can talk about how you guys at home should be making your recipes. So maybe get some ideas from Dewey. But of course, people can't take your actual idea and win the contest. No, no, you've got to do something a little different with it <laughs> at the very least. So this is just a classic cocktail. I use honey simple syrup because it's right off our farm. I gotta find the bottle that's actually Whoa. open. That would be helpful. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Honey simple syrup, lime juice or lemon juice in this case, and gin. two ounces <laughs> of our spruce gin, which is a very cucumber gin. If you want to smell oh. that, you can smell the cucumber coming off of that. Oh, you can smell the cucumber. Wow. Okay, that's why you have an actual cucumber. An actual on cucumber. The table. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mix, stir that up nicely. Get it chilled down. Get a little bit of water in there. Not too much. Now, while you Take mix it, it up, so clearly you are a professional. This is a cocktail. You've made the recipe. It's delicious. You know that. But people at home, whether you're a bartender or an aspiring bartender, mm -hmm. they can actually create their own cocktail and and win a prize. Yeah, we've got uh, for our first ever cocktail competition yeah. uh, started April first. And we're opening that up. It was not to, an April Fool's joke. It was not. Yeah, some people asked about that. <laughs> we opened that what up to bartenders all over the country to use our spruce gin, create cocktails that they're really excited about, and if they come up with something that they feel is really special and they want to enter in the contest, they can do that. And the winner, the grand prize will be a trip to Oregon for those who live outside of the state. Mm -hmm. uh, spend a few days with us here exploring our farms, our other, our other spirits, but helping us make a batch of the, of the gin what? in August and, and just kind of relax in Oregon the way we like to have great liquid and great food. And this is a very simple Ooh. bee's knees. Let's give that a try. Yeah. What do you top it with? Okay. I, well, I would I'm love gonna, to try it. I'm, I'm gonna also going to have something. Jay, our t official taste tester, and then I will, I'll try this also. Ooh. So I just, what? I'm just really simply adding a little rosemary what to it. What did you just, just do to, to the it, rosemary? I just slapped it a little bit. Just really essences. simple. I didn't do it as smack like I should yeah. have. I should have really <laughs> nice, smacked it. Just a love tap. But, but nice and easy to There's kind of release some of those. There's a love tap rosemary thank you. for you, Jay. And then this one was called, what was this one called? That is the Forest and Farm. The Forest and Farm. Okay. That is just fresh cucumber, lime juice, and our gin. That's both of these on our pub menus, yeah. and this is just a, that rosemary just adds a little something different to it. It's like adult lemonade. It's delicious. Ooh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You be careful. There is there is <laughs> gin in that cocktail. Both There's definitely gin. That's so refreshing. Is that nice? It's probably raining outside right now, but I feel like ready for summer. So people yeah, this have, is great. People have until May, the end of May, end of May, to submit, and then they could win the prize. Do you have any tips for the aspiring winners out there? Um, you know, for everything like this was is simply a little bit of a twist on a bee's knees. What we'd mm -hmm. like to see is someone do something really different, yeah. really unique, kind of explore. We have our cocktail book thing. People can get a copy of that for inspiration Ooh, in our okay. pubs. And these are from recipes from people who last year created some really unique recipes for us. So we want to be able to get, kind of go a little crazy, mm -hmm. play with fresh ingredients and do something fun and delicious. And then yeah. you could actually have your recipe Shared online, online, maybe? Online, in the next version of this book. Yes, um, be come, honored by Rogue. Come make it one night in our pub while you're here. Cool. Yeah. Make you a hero for the night. <laughs> Go to roguecocktailcontest.com. Cheers, good luck, have a great night. <laughs> <laughs>